Good morning everyone. Today we are going to have a flipped classroom activity using existing content. I am Amu Shastri, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Kitam University, Hyderabad campus. The topic for flipped classroom activity is science and technology and its application. It's a theory session. Learning objectives of the out of the class activity are at the end of the session, the student should be able to know the difference between science and technology, which is at understand level, able to understand the importance of science and technology and apply its principles in daily life, which is at apply level, able to analyze problems faced by the society and provide some solutions, analyze level. Key concepts that are covered are science and technology, applications of science and technology. Let us look between the difference between science and technology. In simple words, science is process of exploring new knowledge, which is almost unchangeable, having addition of knowledge. Technology is application of science, which changes rapidly. Science focuses on principles and discovery supported by experimentation, whereas technology focuses on design, innovation and production. For example, Knowing types of levers is science and using these principles in nutcracker, crowbar, scissors, etc. is technology. Let us look at the relation of science with society. Science is beneficial to the society. In turn, society supports science. Changing face of science in this century. There is a paradigm shift. The focus of science has shifted beyond discovery to human needs and concerns. Role of science. Science with society powered with good policy making will eradicate poverty, provide secure environment, contributes to sustainable development. This will make Earth a peaceful planet to live within. The problems of society should be tackled collectively by all countries. No problem is unique to a country. The problem in one country can have an effect in a faraway country. For example, eruption of volcano in deep sea has resulted in tsunami in many countries. Rapid industrialization in developed countries resulted in global warming. Oil spills in a country resulted in destruction of aquatic and marine life in other countries. This shows that everyone is vulnerable. The world is rapidly moving towards interdependence. Let us look at the applications of science and technology. Science and technology is not meant for scientists, engineers or technologists only. It is meant for all. The knowledge of science is making life of common people comfortable. There are some examples that support the statement. Farmers are able to get good prediction of weather. Bullock carts are being replaced by farm tractors. Fishermen are able to know the correct place of exploration. Mining has become easy. The sharing of technology is more rapid. Common man is able to view television with hundreds of channels. Entertainment is at its doorstep. People have moved away from landline phones to pagers, from ordinary cell phones to smartphones. Desktops gave place to laptops. Now notepads and palm tops are emerging. Artificial legs used by physically challenged person have become very light. They are participating in athletics. Science and technology definitely provide solution. And let us look at some of the problems and the possible solutions for the problem. Number one, people climb up coconut toddy trees physically exposing themselves to danger and a new innovation can be thought upon which will enable the climber to move upon the tree easily and complete his work. Second one, opening a coconut to drink coconut water is not an easy task. It requires an experienced and seasoned person. A device which can be used by every person can be designed for this task. I would like you all to watch this video which is of 4 minutes 33 seconds on how does a hydraulic crane work. After watching the video, the students will be able to understand the following things. The first learning objective could be application of science and technology. How is science useful to mankind? Take two minutes, you think, pair and share and write down the answers. Learning objective two which provides solution to the existing problem. The students should list out some problems faced by the society, pick one of the problem and provide alternate solutions. Pick the best solution for the problem. This can be done in 5 minutes where the students team up and think, pair and share. Learning Objective 3 
After looking at the video, the students will be able to understand the simple demonstration of how an appliance that is hydraulic crane works. Now the students should describe the working of the hydraulic crane in 100 words. They can take 15 minutes and write down the process step by step. They have to watch the video and write down the working of hydraulic crane step by step. Now let us answer some of the questions. Is science and technology always beneficial to mankind? Option 1 is always beneficial. Option 2 is always not beneficial. 3 sometimes beneficial. 4 none of the above. Question number 2. After looking at the video, list out the materials used in the video which explains working of hydraulic crane. At the end of the session, the students will answer individually. They come to a conclusion on discussion with peers and they also listen to the explanation given by the instructor. Thank you.